शांति बाबा साकार मुरली जून 16 2023 बाप दादा मधुबन वर्जन्स ऑफ श्री बाबा एसेंस ऑफ द मुरली स्वेट टू चिल्ड्रन यू आर एस्टैब्लिशिंग वन रिलीजन एंड वन किंगडम इन द वर्ल्ड ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ साइलेंस दिस इज योर प्योर प्राइड ऑफ साइलेंस so there is no arrogance here it is a pure pride to establish one religion and one kingdom in the world and the base of that is silence question how do people of the world curse themselves and how do some children curse themselves so differentiate between two things after being baba child and those who don't know baba answer people of the whole world say that god is omnipresent and thereby curse themselves in the world who don't know about baba however if some children say baba baba means they know baba and then burn themselves in the fire of lust they curse themselves they are slapped by maya baba says o sweetest beloved souls now become satopradhan do not become a bhasmasur a devil who burnt himself to death that is the story narrated in the scriptures om shanti you children know that you are now going from the darkness into the light from ignorance to the knowledge moonlight is like the subtle region when the sun rises there is the warmth of the sun the moon brings coolness so light is there with the moon also but there is coolness void in sun warmth this light is for these eyes this light souls also have sight you souls receive the eye of the intellect you souls know that you truly recognize the unlimited father and you also recognize with your eyes the chariot brahma when shiv baba enters so with the intellect we are seeing shiv baba with the eyes we are seeing the chariot of shiv baba that is brahma you children have now had a recognition recognition of baba supreme god father shiv baba <clears throat> you have this recognition when you meet him personally he miss brahma he is also called nandi ga nandi gan and bagirath bagirath nandi gan he is always shown as a bull and bhagirath is shown as a human being they saw a picture of shankar and believed that the ganges emerged through him however it was not the ganges of water you know now this you brahmins now have the knowledge of all the scriptures etc so it is a ganges of knowledge you explain the essence of all the vedas the granth the upanishad etc some daughters have never studied or listened to the scriptures but they are able to understand the essence of vedas and scriptures that is with the help of baba an educated one once goes ahead of the educated ones the educated ones will bow down in front of those who are uneducated because those who are uneducated here they have a more faith in baba generally uneducated ones bow down in front of educated ones in this world but here in baba knowledge you can say education is not much important feelings are more important understanding is also important but that understanding come even without education the wonder here is that those who have not studied anything know all the vedas scriptures religions and the activities of the path of devotion in their stage of retirement human beings adopt gurus and they miss gurus then sit and relate the scriptures etc to them they believe that they will find the path to god to god from a guru it is as though that is a mountain and that any path they climb can take them to the top however it is not like that those of you who didn't know anything know now know everything the supreme father the supreme soul had the arrows of knowledge 
shot at Bhishma Pitamai, etc. by the Kumaris. The world doesn't know these things. What they indicates shot at Bhishma Pitama, they don't know. Jagdamba Saraswati Hije Kumari. Big Pandits give themselves the surname Saraswati and a big Pandits. They are given title from Varanasi, Kashi. In fact, the Saraswati of knowledge who emerged from the Ganges of knowledge is Mama. Truly, the Kumaris are now developing more power because they haven't climbed up the wrong ladder. When a man marries, his attachment to his parents is removed and transferred to his wife. He becomes a slave of his wife. Then when he has children, attachment is transferred to them. So how attachment is transferred, you can say in male. Baba also indicates as well as in female too. You now become destroyers of attachment to all. So Baba say, all the souls. You have the faith that you are souls. The yoga of you souls is connected to the Father. Yoga means remembrance, nothing else. Yoga matters are unique. Sorry, your matters are unique. Here, we are everything related in terms of knowledge, not in terms of devotion, not in terms of physical things. Kumaris are pure. They don't go on pilgrimages because they are pure anyway. Those who go on pilgrimage for making themselves from impure to pure, when Kumaris are pure, so no need for them. Human beings go on pilgrimages to cut their sins away. They believe that the Ganges is the purifier. The purifier has to be one. If the Ganges miss water is the purifier, then why do they go there? They go there to see it. Why they go there to see it? They say that the Ganges emerged where an arrow was shot. They have created Gaumuk, that is mouth of cow, and placed it is there. <clears throat> where? Where? You can say water is coming out. The father sits here and explains, children, you are souls. Consider yourself to be souls and remember me. He is the father and also the Satguru. In temple, they saw the feet of Sri Krishna. Shiv Baba doesn't have feet of his own because he doesn't have a body of his own. So Baba is comparing himself with Sri Krishna. Therefore, no one becomes the dust at his feet because he has no feet. Baba says, children, you don't have to become the dust at Shiv Baba's feet. I come and liberate you children from those iron age customs and systems. So whatever the custom and systems in devotion, that Baba is liberating us from that. I don't have feet because he has no feet, so no question of falling down. Shiva doesn't have a body, so no question of feet. This is the body of Brahma. He is incarnating in the body of Brahma, Dada. Therefore, you cannot worship Shiva Baba. Shiva has entered this lucky chariot. On the path of devotion, people offer flowers to those who say to, of themselves, Shiva Ham. I am Shiva. They are offering flowers to the gurus, to the human beings. All of those customs and systems belong to the path of devotion. I must say it is not a path of knowledge. They don't understand the meaning of them at all. They say that women should not worship a lingam, but they don't understand who the lingam represents. In fact, Shiva is not such a big lingam image. He is not a Jyoti lingam, what is indicated in devotion. He is a star. So we are putting a star in the point on the Jyoti lingam. So basically he is a star. So why can they not worship him? Miss even female can worship because it is a star. Shiva means the supreme father, the supreme soul, the benefactor. Meaning of Shiva is benefactor. In fact, he should be worshipped a great deal. Shiva, the benefactor, is only one. He is the one who makes you pure from impure. He benefits everyone. 
those who were the first number lakshmi and narayan have taken 84 births and become impure and so everyone has become impure even lakshmi and narayan who were number 1 they also become impure so all the deities behind him also become impure all have come down from sato pradan stage to become rajo and tamo the one who benefits everyone is the one father alone everybody cannot you can say benefit to others to everyone only father can at this time all human beings are impure they don't become impure as soon as they came down here when they came down as a deities they were pure slowly and gradually they lost their power and become impure at first they are pure in golden age and in silver age too the further the father sorry sits here and explains all of this not the father is explaining to us my beloved long lost and now found children and saligrams are you listening to what that father is saying through this mouth baba sahari is listening no one else can say this no one can say like this no sanyasi etc etc can say i am ever pure and i am speaking to you soul through this body only the father can say this only the father can say child child no one else can say children some say baba baba and then become a basmasur become baba child and become basmasur maya slaps them and so they burn themselves lust is a fire is it not yog is a fire also same way lust is also fire but negative fire that is the positive fire the father comes and liberates you from being a basmasur are you transforming simply by giving one thought that you are not a body you are a pure powerful peaceful soul so how he creating the new world through the sankalp through the thought he explains what he explains sweet children you are my children you reside in brahmand there you are bodiless and this is why there are no thoughts of any kind no body no thoughts you then go into your part coming from golden age this to his predestined in the drama your reward he is now just ahead you are now trikal darshi those sanskars of yours disappears here <clears throat> this knowledge will not remain there so those sanskars of golden age disappears here in the iron age and now this knowledge will not remain there in the golden age while you are here there is knowledge for example baba gave example someone takes the sanskars from here and those sanskar then emerge and so according to that he can become part of the shakti army again in baba baba gives example of the world example of soldiers who take the sanskars of battling with them here subtle soldiers they are physical soldiers then when they grow a little older they enroll in the military same way here too those who are living body who are a brahmin they are taking birth who are near to knowledge or in knowledge if someone has to take birth here then according to the sanskars he takes with him he will take birth in a good home good family then little children with those sanskars also come here with baba to baba when you take a new birth in heaven the sanskars of here will have been finished so these sanskars will not be transformed to heaven transferred to heaven this sanskar comes here when some brahman lives he from here and takes the birth again here then and then this thing happen otherwise transformation of the world will finish everything here then you will develop the sanskars of ruling in order to experience your reward there in the golden age and these sanskars will have become merged sanskars of knowledge sanskars of brahman will be merged when we become deities 
some children had a lot of love and so those souls become very happy when they come here but they are unable to speak because they are children little child because their organs are still small as they grow those sanskars will continue to emerge brahmin sanskars the father explains so many things he is the supreme father the supreme soul and so the inheritance would surely be received from the father he alone is the creator of heaven nobody else can create the heaven he would not be called the creator of hell because hell becomes automatically when we are losing our power what he gave you children know that you are claiming your inheritance of heaven from baba you also received it in the previous cycle it is only at this time that you receive the inheritance of unlimited happiness from the unlimited father only you can say this because we know everything we recognize baba nobody else can say this because they don't know about knowledge and baba these things are completely new you explain that git gita is the mother and father all the rest of the scriptures are its children it is only through the gita that you receive the inheritance of raj yoga and the kingdom of heaven only through gita what inheritance would you receive from children you are now becoming those with divine intellects therefore your palaces etc will be built very quickly yours is the pure pride of silence whereas theirs is the arrogance of silence you claim the kingdom from the almighty authority father you became the masters of bharat always keep it in your intellects that the creator of the world is teaching you in order to make you into the masters of the world he gives you liberation in life in a second so would the father not be able to enter this one in a second because he can transform the world so is it not possible for baba to enter in this body in a second <clears throat> baba give example also of the world a soul lives here for london or america and takes birth there in a second that is the power of the soul then supreme soul has a much much you can say bigger power because the ocean souls are flying squall they are such shiny stars you definitely believe in rebirth how many rebirths have you taken you definitely have to enter the cycle of 84 births those who have completely impure sudra intellects come and once again become those with clean intellects so baba's greatest task is to transform our intellects and with the intellects only that is with the help of our visualization with our sanskars he is transforming our self and the world the company of those with clean intellects will make you the same as the company so the people are known so if we are keeping a good company then our intellect will become clean you are now master oceans of knowledge you are imbibing the virtue that the father has in him equivalent to father in virtues not father you too say man mana bhav therefore you souls will become clean <clears throat> however baba alone has the key to divine visions you change from human beings into deities and this is what even children are shown with a crown well in the golden age otherwise little children don't have a crown because generally crown has the kings crown kings and kings have crown not the little children he is just a son as a prince but how to show as a prince so crown has been you can say shown in the pictures mother see in visions how they will go and become empresses you souls can also understand through this knowledge that you have now become impure i am a carpenter i am poor it is the soul that say this not the body without soul body cannot even move a finger you now know <clears throat> that you are becoming deities through shiv baba 
It is soul that become impure and pure, not anything else. Now I, the soul, am impure, and so my body is also impure. It has a law in it. By talking to yourself in this way, you can continue to churn the ocean of knowledge. The habit will then be instilled. If we have a practice, then and then habit can be instilled. You children have to churn the ocean of knowledge as to what is right and what is wrong. Have the faith that you are souls. I am a Brahmin. They invoke a soul thought through a body. In Brahmin and world also, they are calling a soul previously. They were calling in Brahmin's body. Why do they not call the body? Because body has been burnt. Body has been, you can say, gone. They feed, they feed the soul. Okay, how would the soul eat? He would eat through the body of the Brahmin priest. Directly soul cannot. A widow would understand that she has called the soul of her husband. When a widow were loved his wife and her soul is invited, he would feel what gift should I give her. So he puts a ring or a nose stud on her. That is just the soul. The body cannot come here. Even the soul cannot come here. Only consciousness of the soul coming here. If soul leaves that body, then body will die. Will die. So soul is not coming. Only consciousness. In fact, the soul doesn't even come. All of that is fixed in the drama. It is also a game. They think so and so has come and I am feeding that one. They feed an imminent person with a lot of pomp and splendor. It is a custom and system. In fact, Brahmin priests don't have to have a job. But nowadays, they do and everything for their stomach livelihood. Because initially, we have too much money, too much wealth for everyone. So no need to earn the money. Since last week, it's almost 200 years only. Everyone has to do, the, to do something for their stomach that is livelihood. Otherwise, Brahmin priests consider themselves to be very elevated. That's the reason they are keeping also top knot. <clears throat> However, they have a creation born through a womb. That Brahmin family is, you can say, creation through whom? You Brahmins are mouth born. We are mouth born Brahmins, mouth born creation. You are praised a lot. You have now understood. We were not knowing anything, understanding anything up till now. Baba came and explained, so we now able to understand. You have the knowledge of the beginning, middle, and the end of the whole world. No one except the one father would be called knowledgeful. Those whom he changes from human beings into deities also definitely need to be adopted because he is the mother and father. The father comes and creates you through this one, that is through Dada. It is very difficult for anyone else to understand these things. These are such wonderful things. So it is very difficult to understand. He says day by day, I tell you deep secrets. You have to imbibe this knowledge till the end. At the end, you will reach your karma stage. Eight pass with honors. When someone in the military dies, they give him full honors. All of you are making effort. This is the race to become karmatit. Who is having good yoga and becoming part of the rosary of Rudra? Who is having good yoga and becoming part of the rosary of Rudra? Mama and Baba are very well known and it is then number wise. After them, all are number wise. Those who pass with honors receive full marks. They don't experience any punishment. They are given a lot of respect. Nine jewels are always remembered, not eight. There are four pairs, and then there is the one father in the middle. So four pairs, first four pairs. That is, half of the golden is only, because remaining four pairs are also there, eight gaddis. Those people don't understand the meaning of that. They create whatever someone tells them to. Jains teach at yoga a lot. 
they even pluck out each hair. That is a violence. That renunciation is one that causes suffering. They don't have to do anything. Sorry, you don't have to do anything like that. Baba say here, no physical things. Everything is subtle. You are tempted and inspired to renounce the vices. Baba is tempting us by, you can say how, by giving temptation of heaven and paradise. No one except you has this knowledge. And not only temptation, because reality, this is the first birth. So we have to experience here too. You have truly been around the cycle of 84 births. We are now to return home. The more yoga you have, the purer you will become. It is proportionate. Because by having yoga, by having connection, we get power. And with that power of Baba, we become more and more pure. That is purer. <clears throat> If you continue to stay in remembrance and do service, you will receive greater fruit. Without, you can say, remembrance and service, we cannot have a kingdom. Kings and queens, we cannot become kings and queens. The father is the most beloved one from whom you receive the inheritance of happiness for 21 births. Happiness means both are their health and wealth. Achha. To the sweetest, beloved, long lost, and now found children, love, remembrance, and good morning from the mother, the father, Bab Dada. The spiritual father says Namaste to the spiritual children. And spiritual children love, remembrance, good morning, and say Namaste to the spiritual father. Meethe, meethe, sikaladi, bacho prati, maat pita, Bab Dada ka yat pyar, good morning. Ruhani Bab ki Ruhani Bacho ko Namaste Ham Ruhani Bacho ki Ruhani Maat Vita Bab Dada ko Yad Pyaar Good Morning or Namaste Shukriya Baba Shukriya Essence for Dharana Number One Run the race to become Karma Atit To go beyond Karma To become totally body conscious Sorry, soul conscious And live total body consciousness in order to receive good fruit, what we have to do? Do service while staying in remembrance. Violence of service and remembrance. Point number two, keep the company of those who have clean intellects and become clean. If you are keeping the company of a Brahmin who have not proper life, then Baba, ke, Baba says you will become like them. So keep, keep a good company who have a Clean intellects to become clean. Imbibe the virtues of the father. Never follow any brother or sister. Never curse yourself. Otherwise, if you are following anybody else, we curse ourselves. Blessing, may you become knowledgeable soul and then a master bestower. So Baba said, become like that. Knowledgeable soul and master bestower. How to become? Baba shows method by having the stage of being ignorant of knowledge of desire, Icha matram avidya. So Baba explains, those who are knowledgeable, that is intelligent, receive everything without having to ask for anything. They don't have to ask, automatically come. They don't need to ask for anything. When they automatically receive all attainments, no thoughts can rise, rise in them, of asking for anything. Baba say, Mang ne se marna bala. It is better to die than to ask. So never ask. We have a right of Baba's property because we are his children. We have a right. We are not a beggar, Baba says. So don't ask for anything. Automatically receive all the attainments. Such children become ignorant of the knowledge of desire. From being those who ask for something, such a knowledgeable source become master bestowers, children of the bestower. They are asking for anything finishes. They receive such a great respect that they don't have any desires for name, fame or honor. Because after becoming Brahmin, this is the greatest obstacle coming in our way, that is name, fame or honor. Even in Gita also says, it is very difficult to become soul conscious. So we have to become very much effort, otherwise no choice. 
slogan those who fully rule their minds intellects and sanskars are self sovereigns that is masters of themselves and if we are become the masters of the self then and then we can become masters of the future reality world otherwise no other way so become a master of the self acha om shanti